Hey everybody, I'm doing another video here. Um, I had a few people wondering how I did my propane injector on my uh, DIY jet engine. And uh, I just figured I'd just make this video for them so they can see, you know, how I made it. Basically I took <clears throat> a half inch steel tube, I heated it with a torch, and bent it on a radius, which in my case it was a small used fire extinguisher that just so happened to be the right radius diameter to make the size injector I need. You bend it in a circle, you want to weld it, cut four little tubes, set them all in place with either a pipe nipple or some sort of fitting where you can thread in the middle. You weld it all together so it's nice and airtight, which it's alright if it leaks a little bit, but you want it to perform as good as you can. Then on each side of the tube, and like if you're going to follow this one right here, go all the way down, you would drill a hole right through there, through both sides of the ring. So that way you can get a hole going into this tube right here. And then you would weld that hole shut on the outside. You do that with all four pieces. So that way, when you're done, you have gas that can flow in through this hole, out through these other tubes, into the ring. And then, once you have that completed, flip it over. Drill your appropriate holes, appropriate holes, sorry, whatever works for you. I did mine, um, started out with four holes and then just kind of did some tuning to where she liked the best. And this is what I came up with as far as my hole size. Those are eighth inch holes and then um, I think those are three sixteenths or sixteenth holes in the just straight tubes. But yeah. That's how I had it made. I had a little closed nipple on the top of my uh, combustor cap where I just screwed this on basically and these holes would face down the combustion chamber into the turbine. I'll show you real quick. Uh, before I converted my engine over to diesel, that plug right there is where this injector ring went. And it sat just like this inside the combustor, the holes facing down. And it worked quite nicely for me. I had, uh, I think my exhaust gas temperature was around 900, 850, something like that. But, um, but yeah, and that's how I've made it. And one thing I did notice, propane, you don't get the full power. You know, you, you gotta worry about the tanks cooling down a lot and everything else. But one thing that I did to help as far as your tanks cooling down too fast, Make sure every pipe fitting you have is as big as possible. Like the fitting that goes into the propane tanks, you, know, you, you can screw it in and screw it out. Take a look at it and see if you can drill it out any bigger. If you can, do that because that will help with your propane flow and it will help to keep your tank from getting cold too fast. So yeah, and that's about it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Bye.